Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tiller, and we are back with another video. And today we are going to be going over the Saul chapter, the overview of it, and everything about it. So, first off, to start off, we got as the new killer, we got the pig. And her three new perks are the hangman's trick, surveillance, and make your choice. The hangman's trick is your. Ingenious modifications to hooks prevent tampering and permanent damage. Hooks destroyed by sabotage or sacrifice repair automatically after 30 seconds. And when somebody sab is sabotaging a hook, you get a notification. I don't think that one's that great. Um, surveillance unlocks you for 16 seconds. I don't think that one's going to be good either. And make your choice. When a survivor rescues another from a hook at least 48 meters away, make your choice triggers and applies exposed status effect on the rescuer for 60 seconds. I think that means that you get you can see where they are. I am not too sure what exposed does, but that's what I'm pretty sure it does. And I feel like surveillance will be good if it shows you the generator if somebody stops the regressing. That would be a good part because it shows you where they are. But I have not played with it yet, so I'm not sure. And here's her backstory. When John Kramer, better known as Jigsaw, planned for his son to be born during the Chinese Zodiac's Year of the Pig, he wanted it to represent fertility and rebirth, a new beginning for him and his wife, and the start of a, char of a charmed life for his son. But that plan was shattered on the night that a junkie broke into his wife's clinic hoping to score. After this event resulted in the death of, death of his unborn son, John finally caught up with the junkie, making him his first test subject, and the pig was changed forever too. It became a representation of the disease that was rotten, jo rotting John from the inside, a reminder that we are just meat unless we elevate ourselves by our actions, by grasping life from the jaws of death. The pig became a vessel, an agent of Jigsaw, conveying the subjects to their test. For some of those who emerged victorious, the pig could still be, rebirth, be a rebirth into their new lives as apprentices, wow, even dis disciples of Jigsaw. That was the case for Amanda Young, a troubled soul whose life had been cataloged by, of harm both to herself and to those around her. That changed when she faced the bested Jigsaw's test faced and bested Jigsaw's test. Deciding her life was worth something, she began, became devoted to Jigsaw's cause, ready to take over whenever cancer consumed him. But she became more dependent on John, her anguish at his impending death combining with the belief that their test subjects weren't capable of saving themselves, of being reborn in the crucible of the games. Seeing this, John presented her with another game, another chance to save herself, but Amanda let her rage and jealousy rule her actions. She failed the test and took a bullet as a consequence. Bleeding out on the tiled floor, the darkness engulfed Amanda's vision, accompanied by a sound like creaking wood. Then she was in a forest. One more viewing of the world and the eyes of the pig. Or, once more viewing the world and the eyes of the pig. Trees, sur trees surrounded her, their branches crawling from all sides. Waves of panic washed over her and she could hear her br breath. Whew. Rever bearing inside her mask inside the mask had she been damned to cursed had oh my god had she been damned cursed to spend her days here in this I don't know how to say that <laughs> or maybe this was another test maybe she did it hadn't failed at all John always thought one step ahead ahead of everyone else planned for everything and eventually he would never give up on her surely jigsaw may have been gone he had passed her on to another a being of for whom she would be the pig again. Ultimately, she saw now that she had been right in her choices that she made. The time for the games was over. There was no chance of redemption for any of them. They were meat, and meat was destined to die. That's a pretty good backstory. I like it. I like it a lot better than Freddy's. So now for the survivor, Detective Tap. I've seen the newest Jigsaw, I haven't seen any of the new ones, but I know about the main storyline. So Detective Tap's main three perks are Tenacity, where there's nothing to stop you, stopping you. Your ferocious tenacity in dire situations allows you to crawl 30% faster and recover at the same time. So basically, you can crawl away and recover. 
Detective's Hunch. Unlocks the potential in one's aura reading ability when completing a generator. The auras of generators and chests and totems within 32 meters are revealed to you for 5 seconds. I feel like this would be better if it revealed players as well. I feel like a lot more people would use it as like a bond type of perk, but... And then stake out. Getting close to the killer fills you with determination. For each 15 seconds you are standing within the killer's terror radius and not in chase, you gain a token of up to a maximum of 2. And when you have at least one token, good skill checks are great skill checks, and they consume a token. So I don't think any of these are really going to be good, other than maybe Tenacity, and maybe Stakeout. I'm not sure if the time goes down when you level it up, or if the token... I know the token amount goes up, but I'm not sure if the time goes down. So if the time goes down to like 8 seconds, I feel like it would be okay, but 15 is a lot of seconds to stay in there without being in chase and here's his backstory detective david tapp was one of the good guys his determination to see killers brought to justice and their victims avenged had led him to a long respected career when he first saw the details of the jigsaw case it seemed like many others more grisly and what what is that macabre macabre sure but just another lunatic with a penchant for the overdramatic who would soon be behind bars. A stroke of insight brought Tapped and his partner, Detective Steven Singh, to an abandoned mannequin factory where they discovered Jigsaw's lair. They apprehended the man, but he managed to escape before being unmasked, slashing Tapped's throat as he did so. Leaving his partner, Singh went in pursuit, but fell victim to a booby trap. Tapped had failed to go by the book on this one occasion, entering the lair without a warrant, and it had resulted in Detective's death. He was discharged from the force and left with a ruined throat and a crippling guilt. He channeled that guilt into an obsession. He would find the killers, stop the murderers, vindicate himself, vindicate himself, whoops, and avenge his friend and colleague. Following the evidence trail brought him to Dr. Lawrence Gordon, and he staked out the door doctor's apartment, sure that he would find some evidence of guilt. Then he saw a stranger at Gordon's window and heard gunshots tap confronted him and the man fled with pursuit with the pursuit leading to an industrial building taps age caught up with him a fight that he would easily have won in his younger days ended with tap taking a bullet to the chest slumping to the floor he saw only failure he had failed his partner and the other victims whoever the killer was tap had been unable to stop him more would die and it would be his fault he let the rage and guilt consume him and closed his eyes for the final time. Beneath him, the concrete floor softened. He dug his fingers into the ground, feeling dirt and leaves, where his chest had been wet with the blood. The shirt was now dry, and the pain had gone. His eyes opened onto a darkened sky and the, and the jagged, searching fingers for branches. Screams echoed through the forest, and a new determination filled him. His mind was clear for the first time in months. Victims needed to be avenged. Killers thwarted at thwarted i don't know he didn't know what what this place was but he knew he was still a cop and he w always would be he had one job to do okay other than the weird ass words why can't they just use i don't know we're not all college educated but um it seems like a pretty good chapter other than the perks they're kind of lacking but, Detective Tap, he looks a lot like David's player model. Other than, yeah, they're about the same size. And, I feel like she's going to be a really good killer because she gets that lunge after when she, she's basically, she goes in the crouch and then she lunges up at you and st tries to stab you. And, if you can sneak up on people like that because your terror radius is, radius is zero, I think it can be a very good perk. And yeah, that's basically the backstory and perks of the new killer. And I don't think the pig has any customization. But I do believe David Tapp does. Yeah, he has the investigation tap and the detective tap. So hat or no hat, jacket or bulletproof vest. And tactical trousers or jeans. I like the trouser trousers. And I like the bulletproof vest, but I think this is darker, so I'm I probably wear that a lot. And I like the hat too. I just 
don't see any point in not wearing it. I like it better. But yeah, so that this has been the backstory and the and the perks of the two new character or killer and survivor in Dead by Daylight. And I'm gonna be getting some gameplay out soon, so look for that in the next day or two. I'm gonna be recording it later. But thank you guys for watching and take care.